super thrilled about my trying to pick her up while she's eating, but um, I want to show how to do it. So when you go to pick her up, um, the easiest method I found is if you reach your hand around from the right underneath and kind of scoop it so that her right front leg is like right here um, and your hand is reaching up in like between her front legs. Um, so you're kind of like cradling her front chest. Um, and then of course she jumps down when I try to do it. But if you do that and then scoop up her back legs with your other hand. Oops. <laughs> hey, so sweetie. Come here. Come here. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. I know you don't want to right now, but you can kind of catch her back legs, see? And just kind of support holding them. And she's not super in the mood to be held right now. So generally, if she's squirming, don't continue to try to hold her um, because she'll just squirm more and we don't want her to accidentally scratch you or anything like that. Um, but, so that's one way to hold her. And then the other way, and I'm just gonna try to do it really quick. I don't know how cooperative she'll be. Uh, yeah, sometimes also when she doesn't want you to hold her, she'll like roll over onto her side so that I think she can use her feet to defend herself more if you try to pick her up. Um, so she might not let me pick her up. Um, but. Oh yeah, and also, I think I mentioned this in another video, but I'm not sure. Um, she has a clogged tear duct, so sometimes just moisture from her eye will collect there. Um, and if you let it collect for too long, sometimes it'll start turning like brownish and gross and the skin in that area gets infected. Um, so just generally, if you notice that it's wet, just like wipe your finger along her eye and um, she'll close her eye automatically and let you do it um, and just wipe the moisture away um, and you don't really have to do more than that and if it starts getting gross and clogged or whatever just just keep wiping it and it'll clear itself up um, so okay I'm gonna try to do the other way to pick her up so same method for this sorry Sicily so in this method instead of picking her up like this you put her she doesn't want to right now. Hey, 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 hey. Cool it. <laughs> okay, well, normally what you would do is instead of putting your other hand under her back legs, you would put her other hand under your under her butt and or like her backside and then just kind of scoop her around and then hold her um, like on her back and your arms like a baby. Um, I never would have thought she would like that, but uh, my brother-in-law grew up with cats and he did it with her and she was totally cool with it and she actually tends to be probably okay with being held for a little bit longer when you hold her that way than when you hold her the other way. So um, when she's in the mood to be held, it works better. Um, she's not really in the mood to be held right now because I'm bringing her. But um, so that's one thing. And then the last thing I was going to mention, and again, she's kind of irritated with me at the moment, so I don't know if she'll be super cooperative with this, but here, come here, Cicely. Let's see if she'll come back over. Oh yeah, also generally don't try to pick her up out of an enclosed space because um, I think that in general if you have to do that, you kind of have to reach forward like past her face to pick her up and since she doesn't really like you reaching past her face, that just, it doesn't really end well. Um, so generally it's easier to pick her up from the side um, or from behind. Um, but anyway, she's probably not going to let me do it right now, but actually let me try one more thing. Um, Cicely. There we go. She likes the sound of the laser pointer jingling because that generally means she'll get to play with the laser pointer after. I will play with the laser pointer with her for just a little bit, but first I want to show. So if you... Sorry, Cicely, I know I tricked you. Um, <laughs> so if you want to clip her claws later, she has soft paws on right now, which are like the little plastic caps. But when you go to clip her claws, it's good to hold her under your arm kind of like a, a football so that you've got her back legs kind of cornered. And then just pick up one leg, have one hand in front of her, pick up one leg, and I don't know if you can see this very well, but you get your finger kind of right underneath the part where her joints are, um, and you just kind of rub your finger back and forth. Then one, that'll make the claws extend if you push a little bit, 
and she's not super crazy about it right now. But one, it'll do that, and then two, um, the vet actually taught me that that um, starts, what is it, there's like a instinctive reflex to groom or something when you do that. So it um, kind of, it's calming, and if you talk in a soothing voice while you're doing it, then you can generally do it pretty quickly. And same thing with this one right here, you can push that out. So you'll see she's letting me do this right now, and if, you know, she had no claw tips on um, and she needed her claws clipped, then I could probably go ahead and clip a few claws. And when she starts getting kind of antsy and starts trying to put her head in front of the, the clippers, then generally that's a good time to stop and then resume claw clipping a little later when she's calm again. Um, so anyway, um, so that's that, and then I'll go ahead and play with her a little bit since I tripped her with the laser pointer. So. <coughs> All right. Video done? Yeah.